Hey guys, this is Jason Matthew from Trinidad and Tobago, and today we're going to be looking at an enzyme calculation using the Michaelis Menten equation. So, the, this is the question here, guys. Calculate the substrate concentration required for an enzyme obeying Michaelis Menten kinetics to reach two thirds of its Vmax. Uh, what I have here are the multiple choice answers. So, these are five possible answers. All right, and I will even go a step further and tell you that D is the answer for this question. So you know the biochemian way, write down the question and see if you yourself can get D. So pause for a course, go get the Michaelis Menten equation from your textbook or whatever, and try this question or substitute some values, see if you can get substrate concentration is equal to 2 km. And if you're getting stuck, no problems, um, come, come back to the video, press play, and I will show you the solution. So I'm waiting right here, guys. Go get them. All right, so you should have at least found the Michaelis Menten equation. And that's the initial velocity is equal to Vmax times substrate concentration, all divided by the Michaelis constant plus substrate concentration. So that's the Michaelis Menten equation. And believe it or not, knowing that you have to use the Michaelis Menten equation is all the biochemistry that is needed for this question. After this, it's just purely mathematics. No more biochemistry, so as if your maths kung fu is up to mark. So this is the Michaelis Menten equation again. And from the question, you know that the initial velocity is two thirds of Vmax. They gave you that in the question. So, um, if you did not write the question, I'm, I'm assuming you're regretting it now. So pause, rewind, and get the question, write it down, and then come back here, please, or else you can't follow this thing. So the initial velocity is equal to two thirds Vmax. And you're going to plug that into the Michaelis Menten equation above. So you're going to take the value 2 thirds Vmax as V0 and plug it into the question, into the equation, sorry, above. So you get 2 thirds Vmax is equal to Vmax times substrate concentration, all divided by Km plus substrate concentration. You just simply substituted the value of V0 to be 2 thirds Vmax. Now, if you look on both sides of that equal sign, there's a Vmax value. Now it's true that it didn't give us the Vmax value, but it's not really necessary because it's on both sides of the equal sign. And if it's common on both sides of the equal sign, then from this pure mathematical um, principle, we can just divide all the values. And that will leave you with, as you will have guessed, two thirds is equal to substrate concentration divided by Km plus substrate concentration. So let's blow this up on the next slide and really see what we can do with this even further. So you should have have something like this. So two thirds is equal to substrate concentration divided by Km plus substrate concentration. Now if you just want to get a linear relationship, all you gotta do is cross multiply. So you're cross multiplying. So you're going to say three, times the substrate concentration will be 3s, and then two times Km plus substrate concentration. Now, a common mistake is that you only multiply this Km by two. Remember, it's the whole thing. It's Km plus substrate concentration is being multiplied by this two. So you get two Km plus two S. Now, what you want to do after that is bring all the S's on one side of the equal sign. So you get 3s, minus 2s equal 2km. And presto, you get the answer. Substrate concentration is equal to 2km. And that's the value, that's the answer D, okay? Now, it looks fairly straightforward, right? Yeah, and it's the same mathematical principles you want to be applying for any of these kind of questions. So once you get the principles down, like in this one, you can do any of these similar questions. And just to make sure, I've given two practice questions. 
So one part one is very similar to what we just did, where there's a fraction. So we are asking um, if uh, what would be the substrate concentration required to get three sevenths of its V max. And in part two, all I did was give you um, a decimal this time to see how you deal with it. So it's basically, again, applying the principles. And once you apply the principles and you say true to the method, you will always get your answer. So please uh, put up your answers in the reply section. I will take a look at them. I will tell you if you're going right or wrong. Now, if you find this was useful and you want more questions, well, then you can go to the Biochem GM blog. All right. That's the link below. Please follow us. You know, we will appreciate that very much. And when you go to the blog, you're going to see a lot more level one university questions on enzymes. And some people have already put it up some, um, posted up some answers there. You can compare their answers. You can also contribute and let the community grow. So please go check out the blog. The next thing I want you all to also look at is um, if you think your enzyme Kung Fu, the knowledge is, is a little rusty, please go check out the Biochem GM YouTube channel. We have three videos on level one enzymes. And um, just use the magnifying glass there, type in enzymes, and you're going to get all three videos. And, you know, we, we, we start off nice and slow talking about how we name enzymes. Then we move into the induced fit hypothesis, how enzyme concentration affect um, activity and so on. We look at the different types of inhibition. So please, again, do a biochem GM search on YouTube. And you're going to find us there. You're going to see that good looking fella there. Click on him and you're going to get all this knowledge. So again, guys, it was a blast. Short and sweet. Um, please like the video if, if, if you thought it was informative. Send your comments. Send your answers. Ask more questions. Um, for this uh, July to August 2014, I'm planning to do a lot more videos with particularly targeting metabolism but um you know if you need some help with um with anything um please send me a a, a email or something and um or, or in the comment section in the youtube channel and i'll try to squeeze it in try to do a video for you guys and but and as always you know i i ask you to um to subscribe to the video if it was helpful you can see a link just above this the word subscribe there just click on that link it would direct you to a page to subscribe. So again, guys, it was a blast. Thanks for listening, and I really hope it helps. Good luck, guys.